Salutations crustaceans, I'm Lobster and today we are going to be reviewing the Stag BC300 and we're going to see if this is the best bang for your buck or just another deer in headlights. Let's check it out. This is the BC300 from Stag, a budget brand that's not too well known in the US. Brand new, you can buy these on Amazon for around $240. So today we're going to find out if this base is worth the $240. Now on paper, it doesn't look too bad. The body is listed as alder, you have a solid maple neck, and a rosewood fretboard, 24 frets, 34 inch scale, a PJ pickup configuration with a volume volume tone control setup, a bridge like you saw on the Minion as well as the Hofner base, same exact style cheap bridge, um, a rerouted control cavity, four cheap tuners, it's a base. Now I do question the integrity of that alder claim. They must be using some very cheap or not very dense wood because this base weighs 6.8 pounds. It is very light and feels very cheap. This base weighs less than BB. Three it, pounds less. Three pounds less. Approximately. Think about it. Turning the base around, you see the large control cavity, the somewhat decent sized uh, neck pocket with a four screw neck attachment, and you have a one piece maple neck. Now I know you guys are wondering, what does this base sound like? You guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. Oof, it's noisy. What? It's... I can't hear you over that buzzing. What? What did you say? What? This bass is very, very noisy. Very noisy. This is with everything 100% up. So you have both pickups at 100% and the tone at 100%. Very noisy. Now the tone isn't bad if you can get over the outrageous hum that never goes away. Yeah. Let's go ahead and check out the P pickup first. Okay, the noise is gone. There's still a little bit of hum there, but at least it's a little bit more bearable. Okay, let's check out this P pickup first. This is a standard split coil kind of P pickup. Nothing too special about it. Let's see what this sounds like with the tone at 100%. Again, it doesn't sound bad, but there's a lot of noise going on here. Let's go ahead and turn the tone down to 50% and see if that helps. A little bit. Let's see what this sounds like. Not bad. And now let's turn the tone down all the way. One thing that I've noticed when playing this is the fret ends are a little bit sharp. This definitely could use a filing, but I don't I don't feel like it. Now let's go check out Noise City USA, the bridge pickup. Yeah, there it is. 
Just take it in. Here's the bridge pickup with the tone at 100%. Now, here's the tone at 50%. And let's bring the P pickup back into the mix. More noise. Here is the tone at 100% with both pickups at 100%. <laughs> And here's the tone at 50%. <laughs> And the tone all the way down. Now with the tone at 100%, let's find out, does she slap? <laughs> So noisy. Uh, now let's see what this sounds like with some drums behind it. Here's my final thoughts on the Stag BC300. I am really glad to not be playing this bass anymore. It's not good. It is noisy, it is not fun to play. The body is awkwardly light and that makes it very neck heavy. Um, not neck heavy in terms of like the neck being really heavy. It's just balanced very poorly towards the neck, causing it to neck dive. With a strap, you're probably gonna be okay. However, again, this isn't really that great of a feeling bass. Setup wise, out of the box, it's not great and I couldn't really tune it into where I wanted it to go. Uh, yeah. I don't know where these bases are made. I'm assuming China. However, there's no stickers that indicate where they're actually producing these. Sketch. Sketchy. The fretwork is subpar. The feel in the hand is subpar. The fit and finish is subpar. Uh, this is not a good instrument, and especially for $240, there's a lot of other great options out there. You could buy three Glarys for the price of this thing, and I think that for $80 or $90, a Glary is an excellent beginner instrument. It's not the best instrument in the world, but you're getting what you pay for, and in my opinion, you're actually getting more than what you pay for, where here, you are getting much less. So what am I going to rate the Stag BC300? Yeah! I'm going to go ahead and rate this bass. One claw out of five. 
Oh dear. A staggeringly bad review. Staggeringly bad review indeed. Indubitably. <laughs> <laughs> if I were you, I would steer clear of these bases. I would save your money and go with a Glary or a Harley Benton or something along those lines. Even the entry-level Ibanezes or the entry-level Jacksons are much better than what you're getting here. There's a lot of great bases out there for beginners. And this is not one of them. So steer clear. Even with a discount, do not buy this base. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the Stag BC300. And as always, until we groove again.